Some secrets are revealed in northern legends. Some knowledge has been gained by scientific exploration, but there is much about the northern lights that remains a mystery. drum calling on his helping spirit. In his trance he went far away from the igloo, far into the heavens, among the stars and the northern lights. In this bright place were a lot of people playing football with a walrus skull. rolled and rolled until the tusks stuck into the ground. Kick the ball, they said, but he was afraid. Come, play with us. He found his courage and kicked between the tusks. Then he saw that these people were our relatives who had died and gone away to this joyous land of the dead. These spirits of the sky have also inspired scientists around the world. I mean, it's really quite interesting when you can see the very physics that you're trying to study unfolding before your very eyes straight above you. The northern lights have fascinated scholars. The scientists knew that our atmosphere was mostly nitrogen and oxygen gases. With spectroscopy, it was discovered that the atoms and molecules of these gases are hit by a highly energized force, which causes them to emit light. Atomic oxygen glows with a yellowish-green hue. Nitrogen produces the violet-blue aurora and the crimson red that appears along the lower edge of the auroral curtain. Folklore explains the colors of the aurora in a different way. Told by our Earth's magnetic field lines. It was named the magnetosphere. Extending millions of kilometers into space, this magnetic armor protects us from the hostile forces that flow through the solar system to the scale model of Earth. Reaching temperatures of 20 million degrees Celsius, they propel radiation and plasma, the charged gas of space, throughout the solar system. This is the solar wind. The solar wind streams past the planets at more than a million kilometers per hour and ultimately collides with the sun side of our magnetosphere. The strength of our magnetic shield deflects most of the wind and it keeps blowing past the Earth, creating a tail that stretches millions of kilometers into space chose their strongest hunters to go on a trip to hunt for caribou. Their leader was a powerful medicine man. After many days, they reached the hunting grounds and made camp. Then one night, the Chippewayan attacked.
At midnight, he stood beneath the northern lights. He called on their power and cast the light around the others. The hunters were lifted high into the lights. They lost all sense of time and place. By morning's light, the hunters were back in their home camp at Fort Good Hope. The Northern Lights had saved them. Many more satellites will be launched in an all-out effort to explore the complex interactions between the sun, the earth, and the northern lights. Eventually man is going to go out into space and eventually man is going to exploit space, perhaps by having solar power satellites up there. Many, many satellites have suffered difficulties out there by virtue of the particles that they are hit by that actually destroy the electronic components. Science has parted the curtains that hang in the polar skies. And we have glimpsed far into the solar system. But the mysteries still linger. Traditional beliefs still echo through the ages. Sometime in the future, the Northern Lights may share more of their secrets. Sometime when we are ready to grasp their meaning.